Is it a totally invalid point? Somebody how, somebody's going to have to tell me what Ranić's style is. Hmm. I've well, we've been it, told, I've, we've I've been told it's a high it, press. Well, well, we've not seen that. We saw it a little bit well, early Well, maybe because on. he's got to put Ronaldo in, we haven't seen we it. We saw that a little bit early on. Well, he didn't play yesterday and there was no real... There was a little bit of a press early on in the game, but it was half-hearted. So, I have not really seen anything uh, regarding style. So, I, I don't know. Maybe Ronaldo himself wants out. I really can't answer that question, but all I can tell you from watching the game, it was an unsurprisingly under par performance once again, and, and that's what we've become used to with this current crop of Man United players. Ian, what do you make of the uh, fit with Ronaldo at Manchester United right now? We're hearing reports he's upset not just at Ranić, but the board as well. Well, <laughs> there are so many stories coming out of Manchester United about low morale and cliques in the camp. Um, we were told Ronaldo had a minor knock, you know, or was it that or were they trying something different? We don't really know, do we, at the moment? I can't really imagine a situation where they'd be going into games without him on a regular basis. But I'm with Craig. I, I can't see what difference there is in Manchester United. Mm. Under Ranić, I, I don't see any kind of style change. Where is this this Gagan pressing? Frankly, let's be honest about it. They were very lucky to win that game against Aston Villa, who had enough of the game to have won it. They won it, Manchester United, somehow. But at the moment, they look so so very far off being a a, a major contender this season. Mm. Jules, he may be unhappy. He may not be an obvious fit for Ranić, but he's so productive. It is, and I think they need his goals because when he's not there, no one else is scoring anyway. And I think we saw yesterday, and we saw it against Everton when he started on the bench, if you remember a few months ago, that without him, it's not better anyway. Even not pressing or running or anything else you want, this is, this is, this is the thing. So, OK, at his age, he maybe doesn't run as much as he did 10 years ago, but he's still, he's still, he's still the best player this season with, with David De Gea. So... You have to play him, you have to start him. I agree with the boys. It's been very disappointing since Rangnick arrived. His message clearly not going through to the dressing room. As we know, there's a lot of tensions in that dressing room. Players were not really keen on Rangnick, players who don't really get on with each other. And on top of that, we saw the Marcus Rashford situation last night, where there's clearly something wrong there, whether I don't know if he, he feels tired, and, but he didn't play for the first two and a half months of the season, so he, he can't be tired now. Is, is there a problem in, his, in the new position and the new formation that Rangnick plays? But yesterday he sort of went back to a more normal 4 2 3 1, if you want, instead of the 4 2 2 2 that we've seen and, since he arrived. So, what's wrong with Marcus Rashford? I'm not so sure. And clearly, from what Rangnick said, he doesn't seem to know either, which I'm very worried about. If my manager says, I don't know why one of my key players and star players, doesn't do well, he's not performing, he's not scoring, looks, looks disinterested. I think that's really worrying from a manager of a club like Manchester United. Shaka, Ranić or Ronaldo, who needs to give away here? Um, Ranić needs to figure out what's the best formation for the, for the players that he has. And to your initial question, I, I've said time and time again that I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo fits into this 4-2-2-2 two, two, two system that Ranić wants to play. But you can say the same about Cavani, Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Greenwood. Um, just about every, every attacking player they, they have. They, they just don't have the personnel. So either, either Ranić figures out a formation to shoot the dressing room, or you just kind of abide by this, not knowing what you're going to get, and, and wait for something to happen in... in you don't see much happening this January, but in the summer transfer window. But at which point, Ranić may not have full control of the team anyway. So it's it's really a, a, it's really difficult to understand and explain why Ranić is sticking with it. But again, to your initial question, there's there's a, no argument for me that this team is better with Ronaldo in it. They just don't know how the, to get the best out of their eleven. Manchester United have sat and told us for. I don't know, three or four years under Edward Wood has now gone, that it was all about the future, it was all about the building process. And then they go out under sort of desperation. One was available in Ronaldo, so they went and snapped him up, just in case anybody else snapped him up, Man City or others. And he would have went somewhere else, there's no doubt about it. Felt reactionary, though. And they've gone out and brought a short-term front man in and a short-term coach in. 
you know, what, what do we expect? There's, n there's neither the two of them are going to be the future. But at least, and I, I keep, I just feel like I'm repeating myself in this show with Man United. I, I'm just shocked that I haven't seen anything really different apart from a change of shape. Mm. The way that teams are still able to play, the, the way that Man United are still as poor in possession as they were under Solskjaer is frustrating. But the way that they're still as easy to play around and be dominated in the middle of the park and the back four is able to be got at and the manner in which mid-table at best and worst Premier League teams are doing, it is concerning all round. Because on paper, and the game's not played in paper, they have a better squad than that. So it's really... It, I think it's frustrating for me to watch, but I don't know what it's like for the United fans. And to go back to the Rashford scenario, he looks like a guy to me, and I'm not having a go at him for the way he's playing, because I think it's confidence. He's lost his way, right? The way that he went to that bench and he sat down and he just stared into the abyss was saying to me, and most of us have been there, when the fans are getting on your back, when you're making bad touches and bad passes, when you're not scoring goals, when you're not making the right decisions, it's almost like, make the decision for me, take mm. me off, right. put me on the bench. That's what he looks like at the moment. He looks like a player that wants to be everywhere else apart from on the field because he's lost his confidence. And that, that for me, and, and there might be other things going on in his life, I don't know. From a footballing perspective, the, his confidence is shot, but only he will be able to get that back. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.